In this video, we are going to see the Fourier transform, its properties with the detailed proof. So, there are eight important properties. The first property is linearity, second property is time shifting, third time reversal, fourth frequency shifting, fifth time scaling, sixth differentiation in time, 7 differentiation in frequency and the 8th property is convolution. So first linearity property. So if we take Fourier transform of x1 of t you will be getting x1 of j omega that is capital X1 of j omega. Fourier transform of x2 of t is capital X2 of j omega. Therefore according to linearity property Fourier transform of a1 into x1 of t plus a2 into x2 of t is a1 into capital X1 of j omega plus a2 into capital X2 of j omega. Here a1 and a2 are the constants. Now we are going to prove LHS is equal to RHS. So proof. First we have to assume x of t equal to a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t. Now we have to apply the Fourier transform formula. So capital X of j omega equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Here instead of x of t you have to substitute a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t. Therefore you will be getting capital X of j omega equal to integral minus infinity to infinity a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Now you have to separate the integration. So integral minus infinity to infinity a1 into x1 of t e power minus j omega t into dt plus integral minus infinity to infinity a2 into x2 of t e power minus j omega t into dt. So that is equal to you have to take the constant outside so a1 into integral minus infinity infinity x1 of t into e power minus j omega t into dt plus a2 into integral minus infinity infinity x2 of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. So this is nothing but Fourier transform of x1 of t and this is Fourier transform of x2 of t. Therefore, we can write a1 into capital X1 of j omega plus a2 into capital X2 of j omega. Now, our linearity property is true. The next property, time shifting property. So, here Fourier transform of X of t minus t naught. So, time shifting means you will be shifting the time period. So, X of t minus t naught is equal to e power minus j omega t naught into x of j omega. Now we are going to prove this. So first we are going to assume let p equal to t minus t naught. So from this we can write t is equal to p plus t naught. Now we have to differentiate this. So we will be getting dt is equal to dp since t naught is a constant. Now Fourier transform of x of p. So instead of t minus t naught we are substituting p. x of p is equal to integral minus infinity infinity x of p into e power minus j omega. Instead of t you have to substitute p plus t naught into dp. Now separate the exponential term. So e power minus j omega p into e power minus j omega into t naught into dp. So here t naught is a constant value so you can take e power minus j omega t naught outside so you will be getting integral minus infinity infinity x of p into e power minus j omega p into dp. So this is nothing but Fourier transform formula therefore we can write e power minus j omega t naught into capital X of j omega. Now this property is true. The next property is time reversal. So time reversal means if you take Fourier transform of x of minus t means then you should get capital X of minus j omega. Now we are going to prove this. So we know that Fourier transform of x of t is integral minus infinity infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Now we have to 
take x of minus t and its Fourier transform. So that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of minus t into e power j omega t into dt. So here x of minus t you have written as it is but the exponential term we can write e power j omega t as e power minus of minus j omega t. So this can be written as capital X of minus j omega. Now this property is true. Then the next property frequency shifting property. So here the shifting is done in the frequency domain. So f of that is Fourier transform of x of t into e power j omega naught t is equal to capital X of j of omega minus omega naught. Now let us see the proof. The proof is very simple. So if you take Fourier transform of x of t, you will be getting integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Now we have to multiply x of t with e power j omega naught t. So here x of t into e power j omega naught t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Now you have to simplify this exponential term. So taking minus j as outside omega minus omega naught into t into dt. So this is nothing but Fourier transform capital X of j into omega minus omega naught. Now this property is true. The next property is time scaling property. So here Fourier transform of x of a t is equal to 1 by mod a capital X of j omega divided by a. Now we are going to see the proof. So here two cases we have to assume. The first case is we have to assume a as greater than 0 and the second case is we have to assume a is less than 0. So first we are assuming a is greater than 0 that means a is a positive value. So Fourier transform of x of a t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of a t into e power minus j omega t into dt. So here we are assuming p is equal to a into t. So t is equal to p by a. If you differentiate this, we will be getting dt equal to dp by a. Now we have to substitute this in the above equation. So Fourier transform of x of p is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of p into e power minus j omega p divided by a into dp by a. So instead of dt, you have to substitute dp by a. Instead of t, you have to substitute p by a. So you will be getting 1 by a integral minus infinity to infinity x of p into e power minus j omega p by a into dp. So this is nothing but capital X of j omega by a. Since here we are having j omega by a, we can write capital X of j omega by a. So this is the first case. Next we have to assume a is less than 0. So if it, a is negative means then you will be getting minus 1 by a into capital X of j omega by a so, uh, following the same procedure. So right. Fourier transform of x of a t is equal to 1 divided by modulus of a capital X of j omega divided by a. So modulus of a means it represents both the positive value as well as negative value. Hence this property is true. Then the next property is differentiation in time. So we are differentiating that time domain that is d by dt of x of t and after that we are taking the Fourier transform. So its answer is j omega into capital X of j omega. Now we are going to see the proof. So Fourier transform of d by dt of x of t is equal to j omega into capital X of j omega. First we have to take inverse Fourier transform that is x of t equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity capital X of j omega into e power j omega t into d omega. So we can take either Fourier transform or inverse Fourier transform. For, but for this property if you take inverse Fourier transform means then it will be very very easier right. So d by dt of x of t now you have to differentiate this x of t. So d by dt of x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity capital x of j omega here t terms is present only in this exponential. So we are differentiating only this exponential term d by dt of 
e power j omega t. So, differentiation of e power a t is a into e power a t. So, j omega divided by 2 pi into integral minus infinity infinity capital X of j omega into e power j omega t into d omega. So, that is equal to j omega into this is inverse Fourier transform formula. So, we can write j omega into x of t. Now, if we take Fourier transform of this d by dt of x of t, you will be getting j omega into Fourier transform of x of t. That is nothing but x of j omega. Hence, this differentiation in time property is true. So, in general, we can write this for any degree. That is d power n x of t divided by dt power n is equal to j omega power n into capital X of j omega. Then the next property is differentiation in frequency. So, already we have seen differentiation in time domain. Now, we are going to differentiate in frequency domain. So, f of that is Fourier transform of t into x of t is equal to j into d by d omega of capital X of j omega. Now, proof. So, first we have to write the Fourier transform formula. Capital X of J omega equal to integral minus infinity infinity X of T into E power minus J omega T into DT. So, D by D omega of X of J omega. Now, we are going to differentiate this. So, that is equal to integral minus infinity infinity X of T into D by D omega of E power minus J omega T into DT. Now, on differentiating E power minus J omega T, you will be getting minus j t into x of t e power minus j omega t into d t. Since the differentiation is, respect, is with respect to d omega, right? So, that is equal to minus j integral minus infinity infinity t into x of t e power minus j omega t into d t. So, this is nothing but Fourier transform of t into x of t. Therefore, Fourier transform of t into x of t is equal to j into d by d, d omega into a capital X of j omega. Now, this property is true. Then the next property is convolution property. This is very, very important property, convolution property. So, when we convolve two signals in the time domain is equivalent to multiplication of two signals in the frequency domain. So, this is frequency domain and this is time domain. In time domain, you are convolving the two signals, but in frequency domain, just we are multiplying the two signals. So, before seeing the property, we should know what is convolution. So, convolution is the mathematical operation which is used to express the input-output relationship of any linear time invariant system. So, for example, consider this as a system. So, it has an impulse response as h of t and it, uh, if you are giving x of t as the input means what is the output that we are going to calculate. So, this output is calculated using the convolution formula. So, y of t is equal to x of t convolution of h of t. Therefore, y of t is equal to integral minus infinity infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau into d tau. So, this is the convolution formula. Now, by using this convolution formula only, we are going to prove our convolution property in Fourier transform. So, by using convolution formula, x of t convolution with h of t is equal to integral minus infinity infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau into d tau. Now, we have to take Fourier transform for this convolution formula. So, if we take Fourier transform, integral minus infinity to infinity instead of x of t you have to substitute the above equation and into e power minus j omega t into dt. So, that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau into integration of minus infinity to infinity e power minus j omega t into h of t minus tau into dt into d tau. Now, by using the time shifting property the term inside the bracket may be written as integral minus infinity infinity e power minus j omega t into h of t minus tau into dt is equal to capital H of j omega into e power minus j omega tau, right. By using the time shifting property, we can write directly the answer. Now, Fourier transform of x of t convolution of h of t is equal to integral minus infinity infinity 
x of tau into capital H of j omega into e power minus j omega tau into d tau. So that is equal to h of j omega you are taking outside so you will be getting integral minus infinity infinity x of tau into e power minus j omega tau into d tau. So this is nothing but Fourier transform formula for x of tau. So it can be written as h of j omega into x of j omega. So convolution of two signals in the time domain is equivalent to multiplication of the two signals in the transform domain that is Fourier transform domain. Now this convolution property is proved.